More than 20 people have applied to be the next president of UCF, but today we learn few of them have experience running a large university, and more qualified candidates may wait to come forward. New at 5, Channel 9's Michael Laparty is live on campus tonight, and Michael, some of the big names might be discouraged by Florida's open records policy. Greg, keep in mind that these applications are open for anyone to view, and some people might not want everyone to know that they're interested in the top job here at Milliken Hall, that job, of course, being the presidency. Today we went through dozens of pages of resumes from professors, doctors, and college administrators. So far, at least 21 applicants looking to replace John Hitt as president. While many spend time teaching, few have experience running a large university like UCF. Honestly, just someone who really cares about the people here. We asked students what kind of leader they would like to see. I think someone who's been, has a lot of experience with students, like a professor or an administrative Person. One reason we may not have more big name applicants so far, Florida's open process. That is giving some individuals great pause um, as we talk to sitting presidents. Um, that is obviously a massive concern for them. The applications are not confidential, and some potential candidates likely don't want everyone else to know they're interested in President Hitt's job. As a result, the recruiting firm selected to help in the search says the best candidates will likely wait until the end to apply. Today, the university told me the search process is going smoothly and as anticipated. Even if it's someone who's not necessarily from, you know, the education system, it's someone who cares about the people that they look after. After 25 years at the helm, Hit plans to retire on June 30th. His legacy here is easy to spot. The new challenge is finding his replacement. So far, there is no deadline to apply. The search committee will likely discuss that when they meet again on Monday. Greg? You can understand why people might be reticent, especially if they already have a job. But, Michael, lawmakers here in Florida tried to give colleges like UCF a little more privacy in these searches last year. What happened to that plan? So there was a bill that was filed in the House about this topic, and it would typically apply to administrative posts at any of the Florida public colleges. Now, this was debated. It didn't make it through the House, but ended up dying in the Senate. So it was a no-go. Reporting live on campus, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.